um, Alex Roldan, Christian Roldan, Diego Chara and Yumi Chara all have showdown cards. It's kind of a nice way to kind of give MLS a bit of love. Um, what I find interesting is that they've set the same requirements for what is the first player as it were and the same for the second player. Um, but Interesting approach, 84 and overall is minimum 2 for next three days. So it's basically 2 84s, half a dozen 8 um, 6s and 3 83s basically. So um, roll down, 89 rated, E is not too bad in that sense. 92 base, 72 shot, 84 pass, 86 to 1, 85 defending, and 86 as a golf. Don't worry, I'll get the in games and stats after I show this. And then Christian roll down, 90 pace, 85 shot, 88 passing, 89 to 1, 8 to defending an 89 physical, 85 and higher overalls, minimum 2 and you're starting off with an 83 rated squad, that is pretty much just like 982s or something like after it if memory sort of fully serves, and yeah, premium gold pack, yeah, premium gold pack for them both, Diego Chara is 84 pace, 78 shot, 83 passing, and dribbling, 87 defending and 89 physical, Yumi Chara is 94 pace, 87 shot, 85 pass, 90 defending, 850, 8 defending and 80 physical. So basically whoever gets the win, or if they've already draw, then you'd get 4 90 rated cards. Yes, at the stage of the game, they're still a mile off the curve, but I suppose it's something different. Um, icon wise tonight is Thierry Henry's prime, 7 roots in total, bronze, silver, loan is 1 gold, um, sorry, 1 rare, all gold. 84, 86, 87, 88. You need at least two team of the week, team of the seasons, or two red two champs cards. Uh, it just feels really steep at the stage of the game, if I'm personally honest. Um, but yeah, that's the way that goes. Um, did we get any other SBCs? I don't think we did. Let me quickly just double check. Apart from daily login, I don't think we did. Uh, sorry, I'll leave your tops up here. Sorry, it's two squads, 84, 86, with one name in the team, really team, is, uh, team season at the moment. I might do it, I'll see how the mood takes me. Um, not really rushing to do it because Griezmann was kind of the one main player I was wanting. Uh, foot champions, rival runs, jump into action in this rival space objective to end foot champ qualifying points. Win four rivals, win four division. Yeah. 150, 150, 300, 400, and 500. So basically, this gets you. So basically, you're getting extra champs points just for winning 20 matches. If you're smart about it, you can, um, even though you've got, but it's only two days to win 20 matches. Like, nobody's going to play 20 games in 20, uh, two days. Uh, Silver Beast, Silver Stars is there with Cifuentes. Um, I'll get Silver Beast combined all later. So, Usual, um, you know, looks a nice card to find his um, for silver stars. So, 86 pace, 74 shot, 85 pass, 87 double, 80, defending 91 physical, 3 star, 4 stars, then on his CDM positions. Um, but yeah, he'll be one of these ones I'll just bring off the bench just because of nation and the league. Um, nothing for today because it'll be the sixth one, is obviously we get nothing so. Joys of life, um, store packs, anything in the store part, because it shouldn't have 10 coin packs, we just had that last night, um, no, so everything's, it would just be anything that's maybe on like, yeah, or, um, like a one day cycle, so just to quickly run through those showdown cards, um, just go to MLS, nothing else popping up in concepts is there? Just to be sure, it wouldn't be the first time that's happened. Uh, no, so, right, showdown. So, hold on, um, Alex hold on, 3-3, uh, can play right back, right wing back, and right mid. As with all the cards, like, as always, always with showdown cards, these cards need at least a plus two to be remotely usable, sadly. Um, Nation hampers them obviously as well, so, like for links. But at least you've then got a right back if you're wanting to build a best possible MLS team. I suppose that's one positive to take from it. Um, Diego Chara, well-rounded CDM, 
Post 2 with Putmanini, Post Club, Free Star, Fourth Turn, High High, CDM Center and Mid. Um, in terms of negatives, just really, um, kind of just really dribbling, really. It's but there's nothing that's like with this card that you wouldn't see with other cards. I suppose that is part of the problem with so many options available, and um, league and nation. It's like you say, so I'm really going to link this card up, and most of the time it's highly unlikely not. Um, First base is leadership and team player with dives and eight tackles. Christian Roldan obviously has the rule breakers with 90 pace, 85 shot, 88 pass, 89 dribble, 88 defending, 89 physical, 4 4, high high, 5 8. You can play right mid, centre forward, centre mid, and right wing. So very well varied in terms of what he offers. And as we've seen with his brother, at least um, you've got variants in terms of. Like how you can set him up, I suppose. For him, it's decent enough def defending to fall back on. Um, if you're looking to be at least a little bit defensive, okay dribbling, um, but as we fall, it's more a case of once these are plus two, how will they really look? And I feel like if he's 90, if he was 90 plus in all his dribbling stats, he could be a fun super sub. But you're most likely going to put a hunter on him to try and cap out his pace and give that shooting a good boost. And then for Yumi Chara, it's 4 4, high, medium, 5 5. This card's going to be interesting. Cam right wing, left wing. Uh, for alternate positions, dribbling. Agility and balance is 99, but then everything else is a bit confusing. 86 reactions, 84 composure, so it's like. You'd think oh it'll be great on the ball but then he might say to be like I could fall over every now and then um so even though he's balanced you think would be so good um 99 jumping despite being 5-5 five, five. so what is he suddenly going to out jump somebody that's like 6-5 six, 6-6 five, six, six. um decent enough shooting like you don't need the pace increase so it's more a case of boosting up his shooting and passing where needed dribbling where needed and that's about it really, it's just shooting past and dribbling because he's got enough strength to work with, enough stamina, enough uh, jumping. Um, but yeah, so as I said, um, depending on the game, it gets played at like the weekend if memory serves, like Saturday or something, Friday, Saturday. Um, I would say um, for me personally, on the way both teams have been playing, I would say this will most likely be a draw. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised um, if, in fact, no, they don't play the weekend. When did they actually? Wait, have they actually got this wrong? I think they have. Because Sounders play New York Red Bulls. So they've gave them showdown guards, but Sounders don't play Timbers. Not in anything, don't play Timbers till the 3rd of June. So, yeah, this is an odd one. There's no US Open Cup, because um, they got beaten that, as in uh, Sounders. So, let's read this again. Like, so you're basically having to wait a week. Um, from the matchup, oh, you've got 10 days anyway. Sorry, that's why. So they've not mocked it up, but it's a bit of a wait and a bit of a grind just for. Yeah, I can. Like, fair play for them doing it, but it's like 10 days is a bit of a wait. And I've realised it. Um, for the June um, 9.30 uh, UK time. So, yeah, interesting delay on that one. I'm sure spotted that right away when I've seen the 10 days, but for me personally, like I would have just said, make them all flat. Eighty three squads just um, give people like a bit of fun. Um, like I know they're not going to be massively expensive. Even then, you could have just went to two eighty fours for all the squads. But um, try to give people it's try to give people some fun really with um, alternative cards. But my point is because obviously yes, you're getting four players with a premium gold pack on top. So I suppose they're trying to offset the spend a little bit somewhere. 
Um, but I don't know if you're going to do it, folks. Have a good one, and I will catch you all later.